What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and this video will be uploaded at 7 instead of 6 like normal. I recorded it already and I may or may not have forgot to turn my microphone on, so it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you. We're turning into a meme channel. All right, so in the last video, you guys actually seem to like it a ton. Um, I have like 5,000 views, which I think is pretty dope. And so Anthony actually reached out to me through his girlfriend's Instagram on Hopup. So he deleted his own and then reached out through his girlfriend's Hopup. But he ended up actually making it right. He sent me an extra $100. Um, obviously, this thing, as you can see, this is as most... I suck my suck my... If you guys remember it, no, just leave it on. Just leave it running. You t did you turn it off? No, keep going. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Plane. Anyway, um, so this is as complete as I could get it. Basically, the stock's nice. Everything up here could not fit. The front handguard could not fit. The flash hider broke off. Everything internally with the motor. There's a whole component here that should be there that's not there. Wiring, I think, is okay, but I have no way to test it with anything else. The grip obviously doesn't fit anymore. Um, everything's basically just broken, but he reached out and gave me an extra hundred bucks And so he said he's gonna try and make it right, which I appreciate no selector switch either So uh, this is a good learning point because this is half on him because he did not package it well And it's probably a half on USPS as well with not handling it super well And I'm sure once it spilled out everywhere they tried to put the parts back and but a lot of it, if you package your guns well and if you're not if you're intentional to not scam somebody, it's going to go well for you. If you have scammed somebody in the past, I encourage you guys to do something like Anthony did and go to the person you scammed and be like, hey man, I'm sorry, and make it up. Because if not, you're a really crappy person. That's just not okay. Like, Airsoft does not need more people that send crappy guns to other crappy people. It just makes no one have fun in the sport. All right, so in the title of today's video, I have six Polar Stars with me currently. I had like eight, but I actually sold two this week. Um, so we are going to go through those. I was originally going to do with the Corona loadout. I'll throw the screenshot up here. I bought this and I was so excited to do a loadout video because I thought it was hilarious and I thought, man, Corona season, a chemical suit would be so, so, so good. However, I bought it like two weeks ago and the dude literally has not messaged me back. I've messaged him every day this week. Hey, let me come pick it up. It's local pickup in Fort Wayne instead of like shipping. I only paid like $11 for it, so it was really affordable, but the dude hasn't even messaged me. And so I think I'm going to postpone that and try and figure something else out differently. But I have been getting a lot of requests to do Polar Star videos. So I was like, why not show you guys all the Polar Stars that I have in my collection? I have a lot of HPA guns. I really like HPA. It's kind of the best system right now, to be honest. And so this is the first one. This is a G and G Scar L. We'll kind of go front to butt like we do normally um, with this stuff. This is a Scar Flash Hider. It's got a really nice little stubby foregrip on here as well. Um, it's really cool. I kind of like this, these big scars. You can kind of get that little cool little clank or whatever from the receivers when you put it together. Um, in this, this is actually a Wolverine Inferno Spartan Edition Gen 2, I believe. I'm not super familiar with the Inferno guns. Um, it's got an amped IGL and a trigger as well. And this trigger, dude, you guys know I love speed triggers. This trigger, I'll get a close-up on it, but it is so, so, so small. And you just literally, there's no play in it at all, so you can just rapid fire semi-auto just so quick and i love that about the speed triggers that's one of the reasons i love the hpa platform so much you can get close to it with some btc specters builds but there's just no lag time with polar stars at all there's literally it's just instantaneous and you can just go over and over and over and over again um, but these guns are awesome i really like the external build of this i honestly like the shorter scars a lot i think the h's are cool but i really like the l's because they're compatible obviously with the stan egg style magazine and this is just a good solid gun overall last upgrade is a uh, this is the pts magpul epgc or something it's basically their newest generation newest iteration of the magpul pistol grips this is a 25 dollars upgrade it's so necessary so good this one does not have the back strap and it just fits so nice in your hand and adds some really good texture as well all right up next is a kwa m4 i've actually been using these epm mags these are really expensive but i never really got into them until now i bought like a few i think i got a three in a trade and then i bought a few high caps just to kind of mess around with them but they are really nice they feel awesome i really like my gmp magazines but i do like how these feels and i think for the price wise they're nice but i don't know if they're worth 20 dollars a piece per mag um, up next is a KWA Polar Star. This is a Polar Star. I believe this is a Jack. Yes, the Jack engine that is inside of it. Um, this is a nice old KWA. They used to run the KWA SR7, SR10s, and SR12s when they came out. Were like one of the best airsoft guns ever. It was like Tokyo Marie Classic Army, and then KWA came out when I was like the 2000s when I was younger. 
Um, and the kids, if you got one of those and you got 11.1 LiPo and shoot like 25 rounds a second, you were like the king of the airsoft field back then. Um, these are great guns. This is like their newest iteration. They don't have, it. it's basically the same metal receiver, but they don't have any of the markings. They're just like serial number, KWA, Cal 6 millimeter. Um, but they do have a cool key mod rail on this and they actually cut the price a little bit. So this is a pretty affordable gun. I'm actually going to sell this. I have this for sale for like 500 shipped. Um, to somebody for Polar Star. So if you want to message me, you can get it. It's a nice little build. It's like a $700, $750 build, I think, with everything in it. Um, but it's nice. It's got a G&G &G little flash suppressor, hider, whatever you want to call it there, and then a nice vertical foregrip with a little bit of rubber texture on the outside. But this is a pretty simple gun. Just simple, nice HPA build. Up next, we probably have the coolest gun as a part of this group. This is an ICS SIG 551. This thing is so, so, so cool. I bought this off of a dude on eBay, and I was like, man, I have never seen an ICS SIG that's polar shard before. This is super unique. One of the first guns I ever had was a SIG 552 Commando from Cybergun, and so this brings back all the nostalgia. Has a speed trigger, like I said, literally one of my favorite upgrades with the Polar Star Fusion engines. It is running a jack on the inside, and it has been custom fit by the guy I bought this from to fit and have alignment and everything. Just got a normal rotary style hop up, and this, it's sweet. This, uh, this charging handle goes all the way back. It's like a full travel charging handle, so. I just think it looks super cool um, and it sounds pretty cool too. It does feel a little bit cheap because it is a plastic gun and it is really light, but it is nice if you want to kind of run and play and run and gun all day, you're not going to feel this hardly at all. But with those engines, just killing all the internals, there's not a whole lot of weight left to this gun. And I really like it. It's not like a quite like a TM plasticky feel. Everything's still pretty solid, but it is a little bit like it's just it's not the same feel you're going to get with a metal gun. But this brings back literally all the nostalgia for me. I hope the Corona season ends soon, baby, so we can go out and test this gun because this thing is absolutely incredible. All right, up next, we have one of my favorite little guns. You guys know I love stubby builds literally so much. I I don't know. I just love these things. This GMP tank upper receiver is Probably one of my favorite uppers of all time. I really love it. So we'll go front to back. Um, this is the GMP tank flash hider. This is the free float rail system. This one actually says taste my bullets on it, which is dope. This is like the Widowmaker tank free float rail system or whatever. Um, normal GMP body otherwise. It's got a replica Trigicon MRO on this. And I don't know how I feel. I actually just got this in a trade. So I threw it on there. I think it looks really good. It kind of gives you a really wide picture, kind of like my Trigicon SRS repro. Um, it's nice. It has a little bit of a canted mount as well, which I think is cool. I'm just trying to get used to it. I've never used something like this before, as, as, as like the MRO specifically, but it seems like a really nice sight. Um, I got a PTS grip on here. Like I said, I love these things so much. Um, I got the Magpul MOE stock as well. It's really nice. It's just a simple stock. I really like the Magpul UBRs on stubby builds. I think those are probably my favorite. Um, then I got an IGL, and this engine actually has some upgrades. So I think it's a blue nozzle and a purple poppet that are in this, and I think it has the banjo v2 lightning banjo in it as well so it's a pretty nicely upgraded engine as well and then it's just got normal hop up normal bucking i think it actually might have a type bore and i think i may have upgraded the bucking but normal gmp hop up just a nice little setup um cool for running and gunning set a max trigger and as well and then the america igl but this is a cool little piece that's hot all right second to last gun is actually maybe my second favorite build in this list second or third favorite build i actually got this in a trade from a guy on ebay and this is a 416 cqb if you don't recognize this gun you definitely haven't been playing airsoft um these things hit the market like five years ago maybe longer now and they just absolutely revolutionized it everyone was like yo i want an hk 416 um, but this, I love it. I mean, I actually don't like paint jobs on guns normally, but whatever the dude did to this, I actually think is super cool. Birdcage Flash Hider, it's got a short uh, Magpul grip on here. It's got some nice rubber rail covers. I actually put these on afterwards. I got this in a different trade, a KWA SR10, I think, that I sold. Um, and so I kept the rail covers from this, and it was, I think it just looks so, 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 so good. Um, and it feels really good too, and that's the two things that matter the most in airsoft. Looks good, feels good, and shoots good, man. Um, it has a normal T1 over here. This is like a field sport T1. It's pretty nice. It's got an ergo, actually selector switch. This is pretty cool, and an attack grip, um, pistol ergo attack grip. I think this is they're both ergo brand. Um, and this gun is actually really unique because instead of having the hose come out here, they have the FCU and the wires in there, but they have the hose routed through the stock, which I think is really cool. And I think would also cut down a little bit if I'm trying to run and run and gun and stuff, instead of having my hose get caught on line and stuff coming here, if it goes kind of under my shoulder or under my armpit specifically, then I can kind of run a lower, like a smaller hose, a little bit shorter hose and do something with that. Um, on the back, finally, we have a BUS. This is like the mission first tactical 
smaller of the stocks. I don't exactly remember what model this is, but they make two. One's the bigger one that I have my other gun, and this is like the smaller version of it. But nice stocks, it's just a little bit wobbly because it's different size to the buffer too for airsoft and for real steel stuff. But this is an awesome gun. I'm trying these Troy mags out too. I think GMP actually OEMs these, but they're nice little magazines. Sweet gun, dude, I, I love this thing. And last but certainly not least, I actually did a video on this a little bit ago. I'll throw it in the card. I have changed some stuff up. This is my personal Polar Star. This is my baby. This is the gun I love. This is the gun that is going, as soon as Corona gets released, is going to blast hose all summer. I'm super excited for this thing, man. I got a, I'll just get a little rundown. I did a whole video on this, so if you wanna watch it, you can. Tokyo Marie Type 89 Flash Hider VTAC rail system. I'm actually going to pair record this soon, so it will look a lot better. I know it looks kinda bare right now, but I'm gonna do a really cool paracord design on it. I just haven't decided exactly what I wanna do. Throw my zoom cam up there when I buy a new one, because I sold my old one. Um, cause I want to get a new mo more modern one that's get a lot better footage for you guys. And then I have a BCM vertical foregrip, best in the game. Um, I'm actually running a kind of custom mag. This is like a P mag insert, the old P mag insert. And I think this is like some, I forget exactly what brand external one this is, but it's got the old P mags, which are like the night used to be the nicest mags ever. And then I think I forget what brand external this is, but it slid in perfectly and it fits well. And then I threw a random black base plate on there. You can't do that with a whole lot of magazines. So I just kept that one. It's pretty cool. Um, Crytac body, this, man, I just love this thing so much. It's so good. SRS sight, Mr. First Hassel sock, um, got all the pistol grips, a selector switch, engine, it's got all the upgrades in it, man. These are so, it's just such a nice build. Got my GMR sticker on the back and I have my just gonna send it, Larry the Enticer right there as well. Man, this thing is cool. Um, but yeah, guys, that's been the video for today. Thanks for joining. My merch is down below. If you want to hit it, I will be back next week. Hopefully at six this time instead of like seven, because hopefully I'll record the audio first time. But I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys soon.